Schrock Innovations presents the Midwest's number one independent computer repair company with service centers in Lincoln, Omaha, Papillion, and across the country via the Schrock desk. This is Compute This. Good morning, folks, and welcome into Compute This. My name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company. Three locations to help you out in uh, Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, we have one on 168th and Burke, across the street from the Village Point Mall. In Lincoln, Nebraska, we have our location on 15th Street there, just south of Pine Lake Road. And also in uh, Papillion, the newest little baby shrock. Baby shrock is kind of teen shrock now, but, you know, that's how it goes. They, they, they grow up so fast. 84th and Highway 370. Coming soon to Des Moines this August, and I want to... Uh, Give a great big welcome to all of our Kansas City listeners that are currently listening uh, on the big FM talker KMBZ in Kansas City. Welcome aboard to the radio program. Uh, so one of the things I have to do, guys, every time, you know, all of us, we've been talking for years about all the things that have to do with your computer. You've gotten to know me. You've gotten to know Schrock Innovations and everything that we do for customers. This audience in Kansas City has never heard any of this before. So now we have to introduce it all over again. <laughs> so uh, forgive me if I seem repetitive on some things that I've talked about before, but I have to remember there's always new people joining the audience. And we were all at that point at, you know, at some point where we just didn't know. And then all of a sudden we learned all the things that we've learned over years and years and years of listening to the program. And we're all better for it. So I want to welcome all of our friends from Kansas City on board. Uh, you'll be able to hear the show every weekend, same time, same place. All you have to do is tune in. Now, also, if you catch a piece of the program here and you're thinking, wow, that was an interesting thing that I've never heard before. I wish I could have listened to all of it, but I had to go into church or, you know, whatever the case might be. You can always pick up the program online. We have the show on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Schrock Innovations, facebook.com slash Schrock Innovations, where we are currently also live streaming the program. So you can actually uh, go right go there right now. Let me know how the audio sounds. Make sure that the levels are good. You know, every week we, uh, we do. It's all knobs and dials on my end, right? So it's not like I can put it on two on a slider board here. I have to, it's like a headphone jack with a, with a turny knob. <laughs> And the volume to the turning knob isn't always the same, so I have to be careful. But I think I've got everything set up good for you this week, so we don't have any audio issues there as well. Uh, also, if you uh, missed last week's program, you missed a big show. It's also archived over uh, not only at Facebook, but at schrockinnovations.com. Uh, you click on the radio show tab there, and you can listen to it. You can watch it on YouTube, too, if you want to. Uh, but last week, uh, we told you what to expect from the COVID phone tracker apps. So, yes, are, are you being tracked right now? Um, what happens if you get COVID? How does the phone know that you have COVID? Why can't your phone tell you if you have COVID? You know, those kind of things. We talked about all that. There's no super stealthy ghost tracking that we know of happening on your phone. You do have to install a health department app on your phone in order to enable the tracking and turn it on. So there's, there's a little bit of that going on. You got to make sure that all that stuff is turned on and enabled and then you can be tracked within an inch of your life. Uh, that's pretty pretty awesome there. But uh, the tracking, they're not even really sure if the tracking is going to work because uh, it's based on Bluetooth technology and, and the strength of a Bluetooth signal. And so what they're trying to determine is have two phones been within like 15 or within six feet of each other for 15 minutes or longer. That's a really hard thing to determine based just on signal strength. So there's going to be some false detections in here for sure and possibly some missed detections as well. But it will give people, if you do have human beings doing contact tracing, uh, the ability to, uh, to take someone who is infected with COVID and find out a, a good assortment of people that they probably had contact with. Uh, the idea here is you can alert them. Uh, that you can alert them to the fact that they were in contact with somebody. And, of course, everyone swears that privacy is, is you know, oh, you know, no one's going to violate it. You know, we all know that that is the best of intentions, as they say. Uh, but uh, at any rate, it's not tracking you if you don't want to be tracked. Uh, we also warned you about some really major bugs in Netgear routers. In fact, uh, we had a lot of calls in the service center like, hey, I have one of the Netgear routers that was on the list. What do I do? Uh, I helped one customer in the Omaha service center that called in with this. Um, or she actually hit us up on our, our at shrockinnovations.com using the Facebook chat option. And we found out she did have one of the routers that was impacted. 
we uh, got on a Schrock desk. That's our remote connection software. Where we're able to connect with you on the internet as if we're sitting beside you. And we actually helped her update uh, her router's firmware because that's not something you do every day. So we helped her get that all taken care of because Netgear had released a patch for her her like model of router that day, that day. Uh, so she called and she had a real fortuitous time. We got it all taken care of for her and she was all patched and safe. Uh, but I can tell you for sure, we had one of those Netgear routers in our Papillion Service Center and our internet connection was awful. We were ready to chuck Cox Communications through the window uh, because we thought it was them. Uh, and we're like, this is ridiculous. All of our stuff is patched. All of our stuff is firewalled. All of our stuff is secured. We even... We even went so far as to subscribe to that stupid third-party trend micro garbage that they sell inside the router that doesn't work. Um, and it, nothing worked. Our router was just getting trashed all the time, and now we know why. There was a vulnerability there that nobody knew about, and now all of a sudden everybody knows about it, and it's getting patched. So if you have a Netgear router, you might want to take a look at last week's show to make sure that your uh, Internet connection is safe, especially if you've been having uh, problems with it. We also told you about uh, pro uh, patches that are coming out for AMD processors in the next week. Um, these are uh, going to be primarily laptops that are equipped with the A-series processor. So uh, that would be your Intrepid laptops, guys. Um, the a these AMD chips have a vulnerability similar to the kind of vulnerabilities Intel has been having in their processors, uh, but this one is much easier. You can patch around this one because it's not a hardware vulnerability. So they're able to get that. Uh, you know, it's it's complex. It's a yes, it's a vulnerability in the hardware. Thor, therefore, is it not a hardware vulnerability? It, it is, but it can be corrected with software as opposed to the Intel ones that could only be corrected by turning off acceleration in the processor, which is why your Intel-based laptops have been getting slower and slower and slower. In fact, um, boy, for those of you out there who are Apple users and you say, Thor, you never, you never talk about Apple or anything on your program. We got a load of Apple to talk about today and a load of Intel. This is going to be like the black eye to Intel show. Um, and it's nothing that we don't hate Intel by any means, <laughs> just like I don't hate Apple, but wow. I mean, Intel's had a bad week. Um, we also told you last week about how Facebook is working to shut down all those profile stealing scammers. The people who uh, go online and, uh, say they're you, they create another profile. They take your pictures and things and they masquerade as you. They'll even try to add your family as friends. Uh, so that that way they appear to be more legitimate. Yes, Facebook is suing multiple companies this year, uh, one of them even in the United States. Uh, there are you know marketing companies, uh, and they're creating fake profiles and, and spreading fake news and trolls and fake likes and everything else. So Facebook is working to shut them down as well. Coming up on the program today, we got some interesting stories for you here. Um, sometimes, some weeks, I have trouble finding four really good stories. Now, there were stories this week that were, you know, interesting, but just uh, just too technical or too uh, too inside baseball. I don't think that they would have translated well to radio. And honestly, I don't think anyone would have been any smarter for hearing them. <laughs> and so when you're trying to educate and entertain, you know, Bueller, you, you can't have that. You've got you to gotta be interesting. So the first one is... We're going to tell you what's going on with Microsoft stores. This is a big one, uh, and it's fortuitous. This is the first show that's going to be heard in the Kansas City market because I believe the closest Microsoft store to the Omaha service area is in Kansas City. I tried the HoloLens at the uh, Microsoft store in Kansas City. It's an amazing piece of tech. Uh, it was really fun to play with. Uh, and, of course, this was all pre the, pre the Rona you know, before that, when you could put a headset on your head and not worry about, ooh, creepy crawlies, you know, oh, it doesn't feel good. But no, it was really, really awesome. Uh, so we're going to tell you what's going on with their stores. Uh, Apple is giving Intel the boot. That's right. If you have a Mac and you have an Intel-based Mac, this is going to be how it felt when you used to have a Power PC based Mac and they moved to Intel and you were like, huh, now my Mac is like, is it still a Mac? <laughs> Because <laughs> all the hardware is wrong now. Uh, so we're going to tell you what's going on with that and tell you what uh, some of the fallout will be from that. There will be some things that are no longer present, and there will be some things that they're going to kind of make backward compatible through a, a weird patch uh, called Rosetta 2 that they're going to put out there to make sure that some of your old stuff works with the new Mac, even though the processors and everything are completely different. If you run an e-commerce website, I have news for you. You have literally days, as in till Wednesday, days left, to upgrade your content management system or you are going to get destroyed with fraud. 
Um, Visa is warning. MasterCard is warning. Even Adobe is warning. And I thought that was weird in the headline. Visa warns massive fraud coming. MasterCard warns massive fraud coming. It will be epic. Adobe warns there will be massive fraud on <laughs> Adobe products. Like, does Adobe process credit cards? Are they like PayPal? What? What? I don't understand. But anyway, so <laughs> Adobe is warning as well. So that was pretty funny. But uh, anyway, we're going to tell you all about that. If you run an e-commerce site, I know that's a small majority of you, or minority, I should say. However, I'll guarantee you that some of you have interacted on Magento-based websites. Magento, Magento is a content management system, a lot like WordPress. And it runs some of the largest online stores in the world. Think, think like Sony or Nike. Those are the kind of stores that, that are run by Magento. Um, so this is a huge warning. There are some local places that also have used Magento. There are only two certified Magento coders in Nebraska. Um, so it's not like a huge overwhelming number, but there's 100,000 websites out there that are still running this, and it's going to be bad by Wednesday if they don't get off of it, and they're not going to be off of it by Wednesday, guys. So just watch out for that. Uh, also, what would the show be without the obligatory China story? Chinese banks are forcing Western businesses to install tax software on computers that contains malware. That's right. So we're going to tell you what's happening in China. What are the, the implications? Like, what are we talking about here? Is this one of those, like, ooh, shocking stories? Or is this something that is actually an indication of something more systemic in the relationship between China and Western, Western countries like the UK? Uh, so we're going to tell you a little bit about that, too. Now, I mentioned our Facebook page earlier. And I try to only put stuff on the Facebook page that is going to be of interest to you. Some computer repair shops have all kinds of stuff on their Facebook pages about stuff that has nothing to do with computers, nothing to do with business, nothing to do with anything. <laughs> why, why am I watching videos of your kids at camp? I don't understand this. Did you just post it on the wrong thing? Oh, okay. But no, this was, this was funny. And so I try to keep the, uh, the reposting on the Facebook page to a minimum. But there was one of these videos where they do the kids uh, the kids are uh, exposed to for the first time. So they took a bunch of teenage kids and they sat them down in front of a Windows 95 computer. And these are kids, you got to think, these kids, Windows 95, this would be like sitting you down in front of an AS400 and like pulling the sheet off of it and say, ooh, how do you use it? What is that? And they're like trying to turn it on by pushing the power button on the monitor. They don't even know how to turn it on. Then when they turn it on, it starts making noises, like the boot up noises from the old clunky hard drive inside. And they're like, I don't know if that's normal. Is it supposed to make those noises? So it was pretty funny. So if you're, if you're looking for a chuckle this morning, you can find one over at uh, facebook.com forward slash Schrock Innovations. 888 888- 2091 is the number to join us on the program this morning. Uh, because we have new listeners here this week, I want to explain to everybody how the radio call-in thing works. This show is broadcast live from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. Sunday mornings from Omaha. So if you want to call in the program, you need to call in Sunday morning, 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. And the call-in number is 888 888- Two five zero two zero nine one. You ask a question, make a comment. Every single week, we give away a twenty five dollars Schrock Innovations gift certificate. It's good for anything in our store that you'd like. You can use it for the website. You can use it in the service centers. Anything you like. Twenty five dollars. You can only win once every ninety days. However. And the the twenty five dollars certificate does expire in ninety days. In the past, guys, we had we had people that would call the show every week, and they would they would like super call like every every fifteen minutes they were calling because they wanted in the drawing, and they get the certificate, and then they get the certificate, and then like three years later they'd bring in this stack of paper, and they're like, I want to buy a new computer, and we're like. That's not really how the certificates are supposed to work. So we had to put some rules on it. But you can win once every 90 days, and then the certificate is good for 90 days. But you can use it in anything you want, whether that is a renewal of your antivirus software. If you want to renew your secure updater subscription, you can do that. That's actually $25, so you could renew it for free, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can put it toward a computer. We don't mind if you use the $25 toward a computer or a keyboard, mouse, accessory, anything along those lines. We're happy to help you out there. All right, so in the the opening here, I mentioned Microsoft had some news this week, um, and it's not—it's nothing new right now to hear about stores closing. 
uh, because of the coronavirus, everything else. Uh, Apple actually reopened all their Apple stores, and now they're starting to close some of the Apple stores that were reopened in the virus hotspots in Texas and Florida, for example. Some of their stores are closing. Uh, also on Facebook earlier this week, we shared a story about um, an experience from a ZDNet reporter, a really great tech website for news if you want to go there. A lot of our stories come from ZDNet. Um, but basically, the uh, the reporter from ZDNet uh, went to an Apple store to see what the experience was like. And, you know, one of the themes that, I don't know, it, it's true. It's one of those things that, you, you know, life imitates art, art imitates life. But if you have been anywhere to any store, is it just me or has the customer service level gone down the toilet? Like the you should be thankful we're even here don't you complain to me because the online website said that we had five of these in stock and we have negative two in stock for real and we just didn't update our website. You should be thankful that we are here. You know, that's literally the kind of service my wife and I both have received different places and mostly at big chain stores. The small businesses are realizing that this is bread and butter time. This is the time that you go over and above on service because it is such a contrast when you go to a big box store and you get treated like, you know, you know chattel. <laughs> and then you go into a small business and they worship the ground. You roll out the red carpet and do everything they can to help you. You can really feel the difference in the service right now. Um, so if you do own a small business, just a hint, that that's really what you need to be doing. Don't take your cues from the big guys. Um, but uh, Microsoft, actually. Um, well, I, I was talking about the Apple stores. Apple stores, they, uh, they have bouncers outside, I guess at the stores uh, in larger cities, and the, uh, the bouncers are doing temp checks. They're, they're temping you before you can go into the store, and you don't wait inside the store for your appointment. You sit around outside the store for your appointment, um, and literally it's just it's not a great experience. And then you know, when you check in, they remind you that they, they, they basically tell you everything they can tell you to keep you from coming in the store. Uh, we do curbside. We do this. We do that. You know, and it was it's just one of those things where you're like, I get it. But, man, it's still not fun. Uh, but Microsoft has announced that they will be closing all Microsoft stores everywhere permanently, including the one in Kansas City. Um, now, this does not include Microsoft stores that are in um, their, their flagship stores, as they call them. Their flagship stores are located like in New York, things like that. Um, those stores are going to stay open, uh, but they're going to become experience centers. They're not going to be where they sold anything. They're having Microsoft's having a problem where people just aren't coming to the stores and buying things. Um, they're ne they're not doing it. They're not doing as much business as Apple does in their stores. The other thing is in the Apple stores, the ZDNet reporter reported that volume was way down. So these stores that are reopening and closing again, they might be closing again. And honestly, the business calculus here might be there's not enough business volume to justify the existence of the retail location and the staff right now. So as a result, we are just not gonna we're not gonna be open. And so that that could be part of it. I'm not saying that it is, but it could be part of it. Also, Microsoft stores never really reopened. They're still all closed from coronavirus. So this is basically just Microsoft saying they're going to remain closed. Uh, they're going to take a $400 million charge. That's basically a nickel a share um, uh, in rents and things like that that they're just they're going to have to pay out to get out of their leases. Uh, so, yeah, if you were planning on picking up something at the Microsoft store, you might want to go ahead and order online because that's where they're going to be putting all their eggs going forward. All right, 888-250-2091 is the number to join us on the program. As I mentioned, a $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate is up for grabs this hour. And we got to take a quick break. Don, stay on the line. I know you have a question about Secure Updater. We're going to get to that here in just a moment. When we come back, Apple gives Intel the boot. This is a big deal, guys. Macs are changing, and they're changing in a big way. We're going to tell you about it coming up next on Compute This. Schrock Innovations Data Recovery Lab saves the data the other guys can't. The next time your hard drive, camera card, or flash drive fails, let Schrock get your data back. External hard drives are handy. You can back up multiple computers to them or even use them to move lots of data from one computer to another. 
Computer users have been buying the same old external hard drives for years. While our computers have been getting faster, we still do backups that take hours or watch epic progress bars creep by to move files. Schrock wanted more for our customers, so our innovators created the fastest external hard drives on the planet. Schrock modular storage devices are up to 50% faster than Seagate or Western Digital Externals and are modular in the truest sense of the word. We can create whatever size and speed of drive you need for all of your needs and all modular storage devices come with a data restoration guarantee if you use our drives for backing up and your computer's hard drive fails we'll restore your backup to your repaired computer for free fast simple and flexible technology solutions from Schrock Innovations it's what we do Compute this Pro Tip 843. Of all computer failures, the scariest and most expensive is the hard drive. But there are some steps you can take to save money and save your data before it's too late. Detecting failures early is important, so install a free utility like DriveAdvisor from driveadvisor.com to monitor your hard drive's health and receive warnings when there's a problem. But most of all, hard drive failures happen slowly, so early detection is key to reducing the repair bill. Second, if your hard drive makes any unusual noises, immediately turn off your computer and do not turn it on again. These issues are physical problems, and the more you try to use it, the worse the damage becomes. Remember that most computer repair shops do not have the specialized equipment needed to recover data from a failed drive. Never open your drive or allow anyone else to do so. Open drives always cost more to recover. Schrock does not charge for data recovery evaluations and quotes, so let the local pros look at your drive before you make any recovery decisions. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. Alrighty guys, welcome back into Compute This. My name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company with service centers in Lincoln, Omaha, Papillion, coming this fall to Des Moines, Iowa. And uh, welcome, welcome aboard to all of our brand new listeners in the Kansas City metro area. We're glad to have you on board. I uh, hope that uh, you find the show entertaining and educational, and uh, we'll, we'll do our best to make sure we keep delivering there for you. Uh, the Schrock Innovations Computer Company is a company that's 21 years old. Um, I started it 21 years ago, and the, I, the simple idea behind Schrock Innovations was provide a comp get, get a company together that will help people with computers and not make them feel like idiots. Because everyone has had that computer guy who is like, goes out of his way to explain everything or and then you you use an incorrect term like we have customers that come in and they say my monitor has a virus and we're like we know what you mean you know there's no need to correct you <laughs> monitors can't get viruses my modem has a virus well now modems have firmware so you got to be careful they could <laughs> My modem has a virus, and you're like, oh, okay, my, my internet is slow. Hmm. Okay, I can see. I got your logic there. Not going to correct you, but we're going to when you're you're bringing in the computer, not the modem. So I'm assuming that you mean the computer. So we're going to log it in as a computer. Customer believes computer is possibly infected, um, and so that's what we're about at Schrock. Our job is to take your computer and make it do the things you want it to do. And how do we know the things you want it to do? We don't necessarily. So part of this is we have to get to know you. We have to get to know what you're doing with the computer. How long do you plan to keep the computer? Are you itching for an excuse for a new computer here? Or is this an investment that you plan to use for the next three or four years? That means different suggestions, right? It's not just the same suggestion for everybody that walks in the door. It's catered. It's customized. That's why our, our desktop computers are called modular because they are all different. They all start from the same modular core, and then we can do anything with these computers. We had one that we just uh, did an on-site for. We delivered it to, uh, to a customer in central Iowa. Um, she took the, the, the Venture, which is our higher-end modular desktop, and just tricked that thing out. She added liquid cooling. She added there was a first build we'd ever done with a Ryzen 9 processor, which is pretty cool. Um, she added, I mean, just added and added and added to it, uh, you know, doubled the memory up. We went up to 32 gigs of RAM. Can it take more? You know, and, oh, yeah, it can. But realistically, at, at this point, ma'am, you know, 32 gigs for, you're using it for email. <laughs> I don't know that we really need to put 64 in there, but we can if you want us to. We'll do whatever you want. Our job is to give you options and, and explain the benefits of those options. Um, one of the big things that we teach our guys is there's a difference between features 
and benefits. And every computer guy on the planet will sit there and talk to you about features. This computer has the new Intel 10th generation blah, blah, blah processor. It has way more memory, 12 gigabytes of memory, and uh, blah, 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 goes on and on. Well, when a computer has 12 gigabytes of memory, that usually means that 4 gigabytes is soldered to the motherboard. We don't like that. We can avoid that whenever we can. We have one computer that comes with memory that's permanently attached, one laptop. And the reason is because laptops at the you know, $600 price point almost always have memory permanently attached. We make sure that we tell you the benefits and the risks of everything. We provide you with extended warranties that we refund if you don't use. That way you can buy a warranty, and if something does go wrong with the computer, you're covered no matter what. You never have to worry about it again. We had a gentleman come into the Papillion Service Center yesterday. Um, our light switch broke on Thursday. So they couldn't, the guys couldn't turn the light. We had a smart switch, and I don't know if it burnt out or what. But the lights in the back of Papillion it wouldn't turn on Thursday afternoon or Thursday morning. And so I, I came in Friday. I'm off on Fridays, and I had a switch right there. We had smart switches for the Des Moines store we'd already purchased. So I had the smart switch sitting there, and I held it up, showed it to, to Parker, and said, and point, he was on the phone, pointed at the wall, put the switch in. Uh, and he said, okay. And then Saturday I came in to, to do some stuff in the Bitcoin mine, and – the lights are off, and I'm like, and sometimes guys are weird, like the computer guys like to work with the lights off or whatever. I don't know. I'm, maybe I'm just too old. My eyes are too tired to do that. But I'm like, why are the lights off? And Ryan's like, I can't turn them on. I'm like, still? So I rewired the switch yesterday. I'm here to rewire a switch. And some customers keep coming in. Oh, hi, Thor. And I'm like, I'm just here to rewire a switch. Sorry, I'm not, like, dressed for work. And we had a guy that just moved here from Reno. Uh, and he had a really dedicated computer guy that he had in Reno. And one of the big things he was worried about was moving here into Nebraska. He thought, I'm never going to find another computer guy. And guess what? He found his new computer home. So that was pretty cool. 888-250-2091. I uh, posted the story here in the notes, show notes on Facebook as well at facebook.com slash rock innovations. But Apple is giving Intel the boot. Um, Apple is going to be designing all of their own processors for their Macs going forward. Uh, a big reason for this was uh, the Skylake CPU bugs. This is all of the big, all the bugs that we talked about over the last couple of years. Most of those started with the sixth generation Intel chips, which were Skylake. It was the code name for those. Um, they were badly flawed. They caused Macs to have all kinds of problems, and Intel took a lot of heat over it from their customers. Intel didn't like that, and that was what pushed them over the edge to start developing their own chips. So as a consequence of this, um, Apple cites their experience in developing their own chips for iPhone and iPad. So I'm sure they don't mean you're going to run your Macs on iPad processors. That would be kind of silly. But they are going to make the processors backward compatible through Rosetta 2 to make sure that all of your programs will run. The only thing that will change is boot camp. Boot camp will no longer be available in new Macs. Um, this transition to the new chips will take two years because they have a lot of Intel-based Macs they're going to sell through before they obsolete them because, you know, that's what Apple does. So uh, if you want to buy an Intel-based Mac, um, you have a couple years left to do it as, as the supply lines you know, thin out. After that, you're going to be all on what they're calling Apple Silicon after that. 888-250-2091. Got to take a break here, Don. I I'll promise I'm going to get to you coming out of the bottom of the hour here. Hang on the line for me. And David, Drive Advisor question. Your calls are coming up next on Compute This. Schrock Innovations repair technicians also make house calls. Make an appointment and let us bring our award-winning computer support right to your home or business. Schrock Innovations has spent nearly two decades working to make your technology life easier. And the all-new SchrockInnovations.com is no exception. Now you can order new modular computers and solid-state laptops directly from our website, secure your computer with our virus-free guaranteed semantic endpoint software, find innovative new technologies like our modular storage devices, and get free help and tips. Take a look at the special section to find sales on one-of-a-kind items, display models, refurbished units, and our latest special offers. Swing by the Compute This page to watch TV segments and archived radio shows, or even get one-on-one -on -one help through the Schrock Desk. As always, we respect your privacy, so we secure our website with the latest encryption technology and only the most secure payment methods. You can pick up your purchases at any of our three service centers or have them shipped directly to your door. The new SchrockInnovations.com makes technology simple. It's what we do. Compute this Pro Tip 578. 
Technology is constantly changing, so how can you tell when the time has come to recycle your old outdated computer and invest in a new one? Experts have rules of thumb and formulas, but Schrock believes the answer is simple. You should replace your old computer when it can no longer do the things you need in a secure way. For example, you should not be using operating systems like Windows XP or Vista because they're no longer maintained by Microsoft and they're not secure. And if your computer cannot run Windows 10, it's probably time to begin saving for a replacement. If your existing computer requires a repair and that cost is 50% or more, more of the cost of a new computer, it might be time to consider a replacement. But keep in mind, additional costs like data transfers and important software you have to upgrade like genealogy software or Quicken. And also keep in mind that modern computers are engineered to last 18 months for a normal user. And don't worry, you are considered a normal user. Schrock modular PCs and solid state laptops are specifically designed to last four to six years for that same normal user, saving your family money and time. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. I'm Karen McHugh. One person is dead, another wounded in Louisville, Kentucky, Saturday night. Shots were fired during a protest. Authorities are still sorting out details. We know there was a shooting around 9 o'clock. Now, we don't know many of the particulars, but we know it was a panic, a, a, a full, uh, you know, people running, ducking for cover behind cars as shots were heard in this area right here. Now, we don't know how many people were shooting, but one eyewitness I was just talking to says she distinctly heard one loud pop. Chad Mills of Fox affiliate WDRB. Demonstrators were demanding justice in the death of Breonna Taylor. The 26-year-old black woman was killed by police serving a no-knock warrant back in March. The White House denying that President Trump was ever briefed on reports that the Russians offered bounties to the Taliban to kill Americans in Afghanistan. The report appeared in the New York Times. Joe Biden says if true, it would be a truly shocking revelation. America is listening to Fox News. Now, the News Radio 1110 KFAB Weather Watch. Scattered showers and storms are possible through about mid morning, and then we will see decreasing clouds. Hot, breezy, and humid this afternoon, with highs topping out in the lower 90s, feeling like the triple digits. Those winds could gust up to about 30 miles per hour. Overnight lows back in the lower 70s tonight. With Omaha's most accurate forecast, I'm 6 News First Alert meteorologist Mallory Schnell on News Radio 1110 KFAB. All righty, folks, halftime is over. I hope you all got your snacks and potty breaks in because we got 30 more minutes to go here. And we got some interesting stories going on. But most importantly, I made a promise before the last segment ended that I was going to get to Don's call right away. So, Don, welcome to the program. Thanks for joining us, and I appreciate your patience. How can I help you on Compute This? Yeah, good morning, Thor. Um, on, on my computer, it looks like your live video has been interrupted. Oh, well. That's, oh, there, you just came back. There you go. <laughs> I was tired. I had to take a break. The federal okay, government gives um, me a 15-minute break for a four-hour shift. Okay, and now it's interrupted again. But anyway, um, I have a 2013 holiday special. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and I have a service to Village Point, and for your new listeners, I, I really, the computer's wonderful, and so is awesome. the service, Ben. Thank you, Don. Um, I have a... Uh, um, Question on the Windows 10. I looked on my system. I went into systems, and it showed that I have uh, a 1909 version mm -hmm. installed on the 25th of November 2019. Correct. And I bought Secure Updater. I, I assume I did. <clears throat> and I was wondering, should I have the 2024 on my computer now should it show that oh yeah great question don so let me let me explain the difference here because there's a secure updater which is our program that we make um, that updates all of the third-party software on your computer so it keeps your adobe up to date it keeps your java up to date it keeps your you know c cleaner had an update this week um you know it keeps all those programs up to date all the programs that you don't remember to update yourself and this is important because Everybody thinks that all the updates are automated or that all the programs on their computer will automatically update, and that's not the case. Microsoft takes care of Microsoft updates, and Secure Updater 
takes care of all of the others for the you know 30 something common programs that people have on their computer um, you can learn all about secure updater at secureupdater.com we even give you a 15 day free trial we don't ask for a credit card or anything like that um, but you it's not branded to shock over at secureupdater.com because we have computer repair shops across the country selling secure updater and in some cases some companies that are selling secure updater are doing business in the same markets we are and so we don't want to create a competitive issue there so that's why it's not branded to Schrock, but it is a program that we make. So Secure Updater is not going to do your Windows 10 updates um, because that's handled by Microsoft. Now, we have a second product that we make to try to make those Windows 10 updates easier. As we've mentioned before, 20% of the people that go out there and try to install the new Windows 10 version 2004. So you're on 1909. You're one version behind. Uh, version 2004 was released a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago. And if you have Safe Upgrade and you run Safe Upgrade on your computer, that's the software. It's a $50 license to purchase it. You will find Safe Upgrade on SchrockInnovations.com. But basically, it shepherds you through that process of installing that update the same way that we would do it on our bench. And it also gives you some warranty on this so that if something goes sideways on you, something breaks, you, all you, it reboots, and your information's all gone or it reboots or it doesn't reboot <laughs> or it continually reboots, you know, things like that. That's all very common things that happen. It reboots and your printers are gone. Um, rather than you having to deal with all of that, you have a warranty through Schrock because we are shepherding you through the process. We're guaranteeing a safe upgrade to the new version of Windows 10. That's why we call it Safe Upgrade. Now, sometimes people get those two products confused, Secure Updater and Safe Upgrade, because they both have to do with updates of a sort. Uh, but Safe Upgrade is the one that you would be concerned about. If you did purchase a license for Safe Upgrade, um, you should run Safe Upgrade. You have to log into your Schrock account and download the software that you bought, and we'll walk you through that in the service center if you need us to. Um, but the other thing is, eventually, your computer will get the Windows 10 version 2004. Microsoft is pushing it out to computers that it knows can accept it. That's any computer that they have tested, usually limited to computers that are 18 months old or newer. Microsoft doesn't really test any further back uh, on that. They rely on their testing rings to do that. Um, and there were some issues with this update in the testing ring. Um, so if Microsoft doesn't believe it's safe for your computer yet, they're not going to show it to you in the updates and they're not going to automatically download it to you. But then again, we still have people coming into the service centers that were deemed safe that end up with problems, uh, and we end up fixing them for them, usually by rolling them back and then safely upgrading them to 2004 again uh, with, the, with, the, with our software. So anyway, if, you, uh, if it's something where you have a copy of Safe Upgrade purchased, then that's definitely something you should run on the computer, and if you're having trouble running it, let us know, and then we will help you do that. If you're talking about uh, S Secure Updater, that's a different product. It won't do your Windows 10 upgrades, but it will do all the other updates that Microsoft doesn't do on your computer. Thanks for the call, Don. I appreciate you taking the time to join us on the program this morning. Uh, David, welcome to the program. How can I help you today on Compute This? Yeah, good morning. I appreciate your um, your philosophy and your show. Um, Thank you. I like customer service orientation. So a follow-up to that call, um, I just looked up mine, and my system's not up to date either. Uh, do I just reboot to get Microsoft to download that, or is there something special I need to do to get Windows 10 updated? Gotcha. So there's a few different things. The first one is if your computer has already downloaded updates that are pending installation, it will not download and install the new version of Windows 10. So some people still haven't up, uh, restarted their computer after Patch Tuesday. Patch Tuesday is the second Tuesday of every month. So uh, that was, uh, let's see, today's there. So that was uh, what? Two weeks ago? So if you haven't rebooted your computer in the last two weeks, you definitely need to reboot before you'll be able to download the new version of Windows 10. Um, so you reboot your computer just to be safe. And then you can check and see if Microsoft is telling you that that update is ready. If you click on Start in the lower left-hand corner, um, the Start menu, of course, will appear. And then left-click on that gear. It's the Settings gear. Um, and then the very last control panel option is Update and Security. And if you click on that, there'll be a button right there that says Check for Updates. 
underneath that button, there might be a blue link that says, a new version of Windows is ready for your computer. Click here to get it or something like that. Um, and you can click on that to, to get it. This is what's called being a seeker. Um, so Microsoft is not forced downloading it to your computer yet, but it's making it available because they believe it's safe for your computer. Um, but eventually, everybody's going to download this and get it installed unless, number one, they have a hardware incompatibility. Usually, it's the graphics card in an older computer that has to be replaced to make it compatible. Or two, you have software that's incompatible. Ancient versions of QuickBooks, for example, will do this a lot. It uh, will prevent you from getting the update because the, new, the software just won't run on the new version. Uh, so there could be a few reasons why it's happening, but the first thing, it all starts with rebooting the computer to make sure all of the previous updates have been applied. Then check to see if there are new updates after that. That's, that's great. I, I don't want to turn you into a troubleshooter on your show, but um, I was tracking you to the settings gear, uh -huh. but there's nothing there that says security or update on that panel. Okay, so uh, uh, when, when you click left... I, click I guess I'm on this. I am sorry. I'm on system, so I shouldn't I shouldn't waste time on that. That's all right. So if you want up in the top left corner there's a button called home. Just left click on the home button. Okay. With a little house and that that takes you to the main window settings screen and the very bottom one is update and security. That's great. No, I I appreciate that. Um so my what the reason I called was I tried Drive Advisor and I'm stuck in some kind of loop. I sent a message, I can't remember if I was through your website or through the software. Okay. Uh, asking, hey, what's up? It, it doesn't look like it's running. It just spins for hours. Gotcha. So the Drive uh, Advisor screen is there, but the, the the pinwheel is just spinning? Well, kind of, yes. The Drive Advisor says, give me your email address. As soon as I type it in, I get a, a saving and a spinning, it looks like a floppy disk or something. It says saving. Right. And it just sits there. Okay. Have you restarted the computer since you tried to install Drive Advisor? Yes, I have. Okay, and it's still doing it after that? Yeah. Okay. It's been weak. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, so basically, uh, for everybody listening who might not know what Drive Advisor is, Drive Advisor is a free program that we make at Schrock. And this is, this is an amazing program. There is no revenue model here, there is no ads, there is no pro version that we're trying to upsell you into. It literally, it just is what it is. It is Drive Advisor. What it does in life is it sits and it watches the smart status of your hard drive. Every hard drive in every computer has a self-reporting function, and it tells the computer when your hard drive is having problems and there is a failure impending. So your hard drive will warn your computer that it's dying. But almost every modern computer will automatically ignore those warnings because they want you to get through the warranty period. Their philosophy is as long as the machine is booting and doing what you want it to do. Um, so it, it, it's like saying if you have an air conditioner and you have a belt wearing out, but it's still spinning the motor, is the air conditioner bad? Well, no, it's still cooling, right? So that's the same, that's the same attitude that all the major manufacturers take with their computers. Until the computer will not do what we sold it to you to do reliably, it's not broken. Even if the hard drive is progressively getting worse, because most hard drives can, can go from 100% health as down to as low as 50% health before they start exhibiting symptoms or problems. Um, but by the time you get that low, you're already in the data recovery lab and you're spending over $1,000 to get your data back. We don't want you to go through that. So when you buy a computer from Schrock, one of our machines, the way we approach a warranty is if the hard drive goes from 100% health, to 99% health, that is in effect a heart attack. That's, your, that's the equivalent, a computer equivalent to having a heart attack. We need to replace the hard drive now while it's easy to replace. And then you're good to go. So Drive Advisor literally sits there and it monitors your hard drive's health. And when it drops from 100% down below and to anything lower, it will send you an email. Now, if you are a Schrock customer, and what that means is you've had a computer on our, you had that computer on our bench in one of the service centers, then Drive Advisor will also send us an email letting us know that your computer's hard drive is bad. And we will actually pick up the phone and call you if it's your C drive, because uh, Drive Advisor checks all your backup drives too, your, your, all the drives that you have hooked up to your computer. But if it's your C drive, the main hard drive, we'll call you and say, hey, John, your hard drive is bad in your computer. You may not have seen the email because it may have gone to Gmail promotions or whatever, um, but your hard drive is bad. We just wanted to give you a call and let you know. We recommend you get it replaced right away. 
Don't wait. Don't say, oh, it's 99%. That's great because then the next day it can drop to 50. Um, that When it drops from 100%, I mean, that's like having a heart attack. Now, your hard drive could be the digital equivalent to Dick Cheney, and it could have like 100 heart attacks and still be working. Or you could be a widow maker. You know what I mean? <laughs> we, we had one and that was your warning and now boom, you're done. Uh, and you're in the data recovery lab. And that's, you know, we, we love to see you in our service centers and I, I love your business. Um, but I love you, you to leave the business feeling like, wow, I got, I was treated well and I'm satisfied. Not like, wow, I'm glad I got my data back. It sure did cost a lot of money. Not as much, I guess, as if I would have gone to like one of the national places, but still, whoo, you know, 800 bucks, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we don't want that. We want to take care of you before it gets to that point. The Data Recovery Lab is for the chattel, for the other people. You, you know, we take care of them there. You know, you don't go there. You you get Drive Advisor and you stay safe. But if Drive Advisor is just sitting and spinning, you know, figuratively speaking, um, that's not good. So what we can do is we can help you out over the Schrock desk. So please give us a call in one of the service centers. Uh, we're open Saturday from 10 until 8. Sunday, we're open noon to five. Of course, we're also open Monday through Friday. Um, you know, we're not closed for the Rona or anything else. You can call us from 10 in the morning till eight in the evening. And then we can get on a Schrock desk. We'll do some installing, uninstalling, reinstalling. There are some hidden files in the program data folder that remember. So like if you, uh, if you upgrade, for example, it remembers your email address so you don't have to retype it in. We got to make sure we get rid of that stuff because one of those files may be corrupt. Uh, your hard drive might be bad. You never know. <laughs> so we're going to go through and figure that out. Just give us a call in the service centers and we're happy to help you out there. Uh, you can also, anybody listening, the new listeners, especially you guys over in Kansas City area, um, you can download Drive Advisor for free. You can get it at driveadvisor.com. Once again, this is a product that many computer repair shops use. We make it, but we did not brand it as Schrock because we have competitors in, in markets using this product. But it's Drive Advisor -er, E R because, you know, it's made in America. Driveadvisor.com. 888-250. See, people just are new to the program. They're like, why does he talk like that? 250-2091 is the number to join us on the program. Linda, stay on the line there. Your call's coming up next on Compute This. Update all of your third-party apps on your computer with Secure Updater. It keeps all your apps running smoothly and helps block viruses. Download it for free today at secureupdater.com. Some people like desktops for their power and upgradability, but nothing rivals a laptop for computing on the go. But why should you have to sacrifice performance for portability? The innovators at Schrock want our customers to have it all, so we created a new kind of laptop, the Solid State Laptop from Schrock Innovations. Solid State Laptops are built using the same frame and mainboards as regular laptops, but we've removed half of the moving parts while more than doubling the computer's speed. The result? Laptops that boot to Windows in six seconds or less, respond instantly to your commands, and can survive drops that put most laptops into the data recovery lab. Starting at only $4.99, Solid State laptops give you speed, reliability, durability, and performance for the same price most people pay for a cheap disposable laptop. The next time you're looking for a laptop, check out the Solid State laptops at schrockinnovations.com or visit any of our service centers. Simple, solid, fast technology is what we do at Schrock. Compute this Pro Tip 178. Those little life-saving surge protector strips are vital to your computer's health and should be used whenever possible, even for laptops. As computers get smaller and more powerful, they're also becoming more sensitive to dirty power, and your power is a lot dirtier than you might think. Even if you have a whole home surge protection, most power surges are generated within your own home. If you've ever vacuumed and seen the lights get dimmer and brighter, you created a surge. Surge protectors can only absorb so much energy measured in joules. When that capacity is exhausted, your surge protector becomes a glorified extension cord and needs to be replaced. You should always look for surge protectors that give audible alerts when they're no longer able to protect your equipment. Schrock recommends these because the lights on most strips are just power lights and they don't tell you when it's time to replace the unit. If in doubt, replace your surge protectors annually to keep your expensive TVs, computers, and other electronic equipment safe. This pro tip is brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. I didn't mean to single out Dick Cheney, okay? I mean, <laughs> I mean, Emily's over here rolling on the floor because she's like, oh my gosh, you, 
me Dick Cheney and the heart attack. She said, you could have said Bernie Sanders. I said, well, yeah, I guess we could have said you could have one heart attack like Bernie Sanders, or you could have a whole series of heart attacks. But then I was like, but they're both still alive. So that's not a good comparison. We want to keep your hard drive alive with Drive Advisor, you know, and then, you know, I, the video, the re, Dick Cheney was on my mind because I saw a picture in the news this week of Dick Cheney saying real men wear masks and he had a mask on and it just reminded me of like a proof of life video. He's still here. Like, look at that man go. He's got a new heart and everything. Golly. All right. Welcome back in, folks. You're listening to Compute This. My name is Thor Shock. We are not a political talk show. We try to avoid politics here a little bit, but sometimes, you know, it snakes in a little bit through, you know, you know, colloquial references and stuff. So we, we try to avoid it, but, you know. We're here to talk computers and tech and uh, and to leave the politics for other radio shows because there are people out there that are far more talented than me to talk about that kind of stuff. Numbers to join us on the program, 888-250-2091. Um, I promised everybody uh, there's a story that I wanted to cover because there might be one or two people listening that are responsible for – that either own a company uh, with a large e-commerce website. And usually Magento is used for large e-commerce websites, things like Sony or Nike. Um, there was a company in Nebraska that was using Magento for a, a comic book, a national, an international comic book distribution company. Um, so Magento is used for a lot of different websites, but usually it's an e-commerce site. Usually it's for a site that WordPress just isn't big enough to handle. Um, if you have that kind of a website, and you, you may not know if you're running Magento, but it's something you need to ask because if you're running Magento version one, you have until Wednesday to migrate. As I mentioned to, to the version two, um, they're going to end of life version one on Wednesday, which means no more patches. And um, usually there's a steady flow of vulnerabilities in every content management software. Every, every kind of framework a website is built on, there's always vulnerabilities that come out. And there's a steady stream of them. They come out at almost like a regular pace as people discover new ones and bad guys try to exploit them. Magento has been dead quiet for the last couple months. A lot of people speculate the reason why there have been no new vulnerabilities for Magento in the last couple months is because the bad guys are sitting on them, just like what happened with Windows uh, Windows 7. Uh, they sit on the vulnerabilities until it's end of life, and then all of a sudden all these new vulnerabilities come out. So we got to watch out for that. So if you do, are you responsible for the maintenance of a website? Contact Schrock Interactive. A lot of people don't know. You know, Everybody knows we do computers. We sell new computers. We fix computers. Hardly anybody we talk to knows that we do web work, too. We build websites. We build AI, custom software. We have an entire interactive division that does that. They, they're what power the service model of Schrock, Schrock Innovations, but they have a lot of time left over at the end of the day. So then they sell that time to you guys to build all kinds of cool stuff for you and your businesses. You can talk to – Annette is the person you want to talk to if you need to talk to Schrock Interactive, and you can reach her in the Omaha Service Center. All righty. So moving on here, I promised also uh, there's a story that I need to get to here about China. And so when uh, we're going to take another couple calls here. We're going to come back to this one. But China is once again stealing data from Western companies and has been caught red-handed. Um, we're going to tell you what's going on there. It's, you know, at some point you just got to shake your head and say, well, you know, what do you think was going to happen? You know, <laughs> you know, you stick your you stick your fist in a beehive. What do you think is going to happen? Um, but anyway... <laughs> It happens, right? All right, Linda, welcome to the program. How can I help you today on Compute This? Good morning. Good morning. Um, I have you on your 2012 holiday specials. Okay. And recently I have been awesome. getting messages from McAfee that my antivirus is expiring, and I have everything you tell me, and I didn't think it was McAfee. So right. I've been ignoring it. Is that the right thing to do? Uh, it is, yes, Linda. Thank you, thank you for this call today because um, – even John McAfee, the guy who is – it's named after him. He started it. He then sold it to Intel for an entire boatload of money. And then I think he went to Belize for a while where he was accused of murder. And then he ran for president for a while. Uh, it was weird. John McAfee is a weird cookie. But anyway, um, even John McAfee says that he would not run the software with his name on it on his computer because it is garbage. Now, that's my opinion. The opinions expressed by the host of the program are not necessarily the opinions of rational, sane people. But I can tell you from anecdotal experience in the service center, customers running McAfee tend to have more infections, a lot more infections, than customers who are running Semantic Endpoint. 
Um, and I guess I should call it Broadcom Endpoint because they bought it. But um, what we offer is Endpoint, and that's what you should have on your computer. Um, so what you I do. Yeah, so if you also have McAfee on your computer, sometimes what happens is when we install programs on the computer, we get a little, uh, like a box that pops up, and you go next, 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 finish. Well, sometime in one of those next windows, like how many neck, how many confirmations do you need that I want to install it? Why don't I just have to say install and have it do it? Well, because there's checkboxes on those other screens. Do you agree to the terms? Yes. Do you also want the McAfee security suite? Yes. And then it'll run for free for like a month and then it'll tell you it's expired and you have to renew it. And that's how they, so the guys that, that build those, that put the checkboxes on the stuff, get a dollar for every person that renews, that you know buys McAfee or whatever. Um, so you definitely not only want to ignore that box, but there's probably some McAfee software installed on your computer that uh, we want to make sure we uninstall from that computer. And uh, Kudos, thank you so much for the call, Lindo. A 2012 holiday special. Guys, the holiday special computers, we tell you they last up to 10 years. And right there, Linda's calling in 2012. So she's not quite to 10 years yet. But yeah, she's getting to that point where you got to start thinking about replacing the deep freeze here. You know, <laughs> because if only all computers lasted 10 years. All righty. So next up on the program, we've got Blaine. Welcome to the program, Blaine. How can I help you on Compute This? Hi, Shrock. I have two questions. Uh, what sure. station are you broadcasting out of Kansas City? Sure, in Kansas City, and forgive me here, I'm going to make sure it's, I get it right. It's KMBZ in Kansas City. KMBZ, it's an FM talker in Kansas City. Do you, do you know the number for it? Oh, gosh, I, they have an FM and an AM. Let me get it for you real quick because I, I know I'm supposed to have this like right off the top of my head. 98.1 FM, KMBZ. Okay, and the second question, uh, I've got the 2004 update, no problem. Perfect. Uh, then... About five days later, I got uh, a new version of Edge. Yes. I use Firefox, and it it looks to me like they're fighting each other because my Firefox has just been underperforming terribly. Gotcha. Well, the Firefox shouldn't be impacted by the the new installation of Edge. Um, what the you're what you're going to see in the fighting, what you're going to see is Microsoft is going to keep shoving Edge in your face because what they've done is they've replaced the old Edge just didn't catch on because you couldn't primarily you couldn't run it on a Mac and a lot of websites are developed on Macs so if you can't test a website on Edge websites just didn't work right in Edge because no one could test it well so then Microsoft finally bailed on Edge and a lot of people don't know this but Google Chrome is that's Google's browser is built on an open source project called Chromium and so what they did is they took Chromium and they stuffed all the Google spyware into it and then they made it Google Chrome so Microsoft said hey that's a really cool idea. So they went out there and they took Chromium and they stuffed all the Microsoft spyware into it and said, there's, there's Edge. And you can install everything from the Chrome stores now. And they're actually taking market share from Google Chrome because the Edge browser built on Chromium has less garbage in it than Google's does. And so it's faster. Um, so if you're, if you're talking about the fastest browser in the rodeo, Edge is the fastest browser right now. Um, now, Google will argue, ours is the safest or whatever, you know, but whatever the case might be, they had a huge vulnerability last week as well. Um, but yeah, so what you're seeing now is Microsoft is popping up and telling you, try the Edge browser, try the Edge browser. Go ahead and open the Edge browser one time and then close it again, and you won't see those pop-ups anymore asking you to try Edge because you've already tried it. And that should help you out there. All right, thanks for the call there, Steve. We've got to draw a winner of our $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate for the show. Also, China. If you do business in China, if you want to open a business inside of China, they require you to do some certain things. And one of those things that a local province was requiring was you had to install a particular piece of tax software on the computer in order to pay and remit your local taxes. But what happens after you install the program, two hours later, it mysteriously downloads another program that spies on your computer it literally takes all the intellectual property from your computer and sends it somewhere nobody knows who is doing it or why it's doing it but it's definitely spyware and it's definitely coming from china so if you're doing business in china guys you just got to assume that anything that you put on those computers is going to be stolen congratulations linda you've got yourself a 25 dollars shrock innovations gift certificate stay tuned on facebook.com slash shrock innovations for the aftershock see you next weekend Fueled by IV, home of hot deals and hundreds of price declines. This is News Radio 1110 KFAB Omaha. And